All right, this is fourth grade, module one, lesson 18. And in this lesson, we're just continuing this uh, pattern of uh, just practicing the standard algorithms for addition and subtraction. And because we're doing it in word problems, the emphasis really is on trying to build an effective and accurate tape diagram that the students can then use to map out their solution strategy uh, for finding the answer. So here we're told there are, there were, 22,869 children. We have 49,563 men and 2,872 more women than men at the fair. And then the big question is, how many people were at the fair? So in this question, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about who are the characters in this play, in this word problem. <clears throat> and I see we've got children, men, and women. So I'm going to label children, men, and women. And I'm going to begin by giving all three tape diagrams the exact same length, best I can draw. All right, so I've started. And that's generally the theme, is you look for the characters, you label them, and then your tape diagrams, you start off with three of them all the same length. And then you go back and you read the question again. And it says there were 22,869 children. So that tells us we know that this number right here is 22,869. And then we're also told that there were 49,563 men. So that tells us, oops, well, the men is a little bit longer than the children. doesn't matter how long. And we're told that this number is 49,563. Then we're told that the women, there's 2,872 more women than men. All right, so that means, first off, I've got to extend the women to match the men. All right, so now they're equal. So this length and this length are both 49,563, but then we're told that the women, there's more of them by 2,872 women. And the question is, how many people were at the fair? So they want us to figure out the total number. So how many children are there? There's 22,869. How many men are there? There's 49,563, and then how many women are there? Well, the total number of women is the total number of men, which is 49,563, plus this extra 2,872 women. So now we've kind of mapped out our solution strategy. So what's our solution strategy? Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out how many women? So we're going to add 49,563 plus 2,872. That's going to give us the number of women. And then once we've got the total number of women, we're going to add the children plus the men plus the women. And that is our solution strategy. It's a two-step problem. First find the number of women, then add it to the children and the men. So in this problem, a number A is 4,676. Number B is 10,043 greater than A. So that's the kicker. And then number C is 2,610 less than B. What is the total value of numbers A, B, and C? So uh, I'm going to begin with three characters in this story, A, B, and C, and I'm going to start off with all three tape diagrams being the exact same length, basically. <laughs> it doesn't look like I did a good job, but it's supposed to be accurate there. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question again. So it says number A is 4,676. Well, that says, okay, A is 4,676. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. 
Now here, number B is 10,043 greater than A. That's the kicker right there. A lot of students are going to misread it and just say number B is 10,043. Uh, but it's no, it's 10,043 greater than A. So that tells us we need to extend B by 10,043. And that means what's this part right here? Right here? That part is 4,676. So that means if we wanted to know the entire value of B, we would have to add these two numbers. Now, parents and teachers, one thing I want you to notice, look at this. I'm not trying to be proportional. The, the length here for 4,676 is longer than 10,043. That's okay. The purpose of these tape diagrams is just to kind of represent the problem. It doesn't have to be totally uh, proportional. And then I'm going to continue reading, and it says number C is 2,610 less than B. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to extend C so that it becomes the same length of, as B, but then we're told that it's actually shorter than B. So I'm going to use my blue, and I'm going to say let's make it shorter than B. And how much shorter is it than B? It is 2,610 shorter than B. So the question would be, uh, what is the length of B? What is this piece right here? And that, well, uh, let's see, I'm going to put a question mark there. That's an important thing. So. Now, but the way we could find it is we know how to figure out the length of B. Add these two numbers. So the first thing we need to do, find B. And then once we know the length of B, how do we find C? Well, we subtract. So the second step is to find C by subtracting. And then what's our third step? add A plus B plus C, because we're supposed to find the total, all right? So let's kind of map, or that's the map. Let's do a little bit more detailed on the uh, solution strategy. So first part, how do we find B? Well, we're going to add 10,043 plus 4,676. That's how we're going to find B. This gives us B. And then, how do we find C? Well, we're going to take whatever that value is of B, and we're going to subtract 2,610, uh, because it says that C is shorter than B. All right, and that's going to give us the answer for C. And now, all we have to do is add A plus whatever B is, that's right here, plus whatever C is. There's our strategy. And the last problem is a store sold a total of 21,650 balls. It sold 11,795 baseballs. And it sold 4,150 uh, 4, fewer basketballs than baseballs. And the rest of the balls sold were footballs. So the big question is, how many footballs did the store sell? So what are the characters in this play? Now, some students might say the character is a store, but that's not true in this problem. In this problem, the characters are the baseballs, the basketballs, and the footballs. All right. So I'm going to put base, as in baseball. I'm going to put basque as in basketball, and I'm going to put foot, as in football, and remember, I'm going to start with all three tapes being the exact same length. All right, and then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to read the question. So it says, a store sold a total of 21,650 balls. That's going to be over here. That's the total length. Um, but because, well, I could do it right here. 
21,650. But the truth is, I'm, I'm probably going to have to move it because I'm going to be doing some modification of these tapes, so I may need to move this out of the way. So, But I'll start right here for now. Okay, now it says it sold 11,795 baseballs. So here you go, 11,795 baseballs. Then it says uh, it sold... 4,150 fewer basketballs than baseballs. All right, so that means the basketball tape diagram needs to be shorter. And I'm going to use this crossing off system to show that it is shorter by 4,150. So how do we figure out the actual length of the basketballs? We, we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract these two numbers and that gives us this number, the actual number of basketballs. But then it says, the rest of the balls sold were footballs. Now, we don't know this length. We don't know if it's longer than baseball. We don't know if it's longer or shorter than basketball. So we're just going to leave this length right here. But this length does not necessarily mean it's this length. All right, We don't necessarily know that this length represents 11,795. So what's our strategy? So our strategy is, well, first we need to figure out how many basketballs were sold. And we're going to do that by, well, let's, let me shrink up my problem a little bit. So the way we're going to find the number of basketballs sold is by doing 11,795 and subtracting 4,150. That's this length. Subtract this length gives us basketballs. Now we know how much basketballs, how many basketballs were sold. So all we have to do is take the baseballs and the basketballs, add them together. So then we're going to do, this is going to be basketballs. And then we're going to take the baseballs, add them to the basketballs, basketballs, and find that total, and then subtract it from 21,650 minus this box uh, because that will give us the final answer for the footballs because we know this is the total this is how many baseballs and basketballs were sold so, th so the result is going to give us the number of footballs and that wraps up fourth grade module 1 lesson 18 where uh, we're using tape diagrams to model some really complicated multiple-step word problems. And parents and teachers, at this point, uh, we do want our students to be studying that standard algorithm for addition and sub subtraction. But the real important thing is drawing these tape diagrams. We really want our students to learn how to model those tape diagrams. So parents and teachers, you're going to have to be really patient with your students. Um, and I love the fact that this homework only has three problems. It's because we really want to focus students on understanding through the use of tape diagrams, and we don't want them to be burdened with a bazillion different problems, and now they're focused on the algorithms. At this point uh, in the lessons, we want them to be really focused on the problem solving.